Hi you lovely people, welcome back to my channel. I sincerely from my heart appreciate you guys for watching my videos. And please if you are yet to subscribe, just hit on the red icon to subscribe. And also touch on the notification bell to be the first to be notified whenever I upload a new video. So in today's tutorial we shall be looking at how to take our basic body measurement. And for the sake of that I divided it into three parts. The first one is the basic body measurement, then the second part is the measurement required for our skirt, then the third part will be how to take the body measurement that is required for sewing of princess bust. Okay, first we take our shoulder measurement from this point here to this point here. Hope you can see what I'm doing here to here. So here now. I have 13 inches for this body. So the second one to take is our bust measurement. Now make sure you place it at the higher point, which is the nipple point, this way. This way. Like this. So here we have the three and a half. And if we turn it so you see how it is at the back. So the next point is our waist measurement. You look for the tiny place. Okay. Or the person can fold where the point the point where when you bend the point that fold you can take your measurements there so you see my own is here so next to do to take it our half length of let's finish the horizontal part before we take the vertical ones. So the next to consider here is our hip measurement. Which is here. So when you put this one, you use your hand and push it so you know whether it is free and L, the alt you are holding can go up and go down. You see what I'm doing? So that you can get the hip accurate. So let me just turn it so you can see how it is at the back. here so now you can now consider the length that you want to use so coming to the vertical part from here from the upper part here from the upper part you check for your half length you can get your half length. Maybe some is directly after the under bust. Yeah. So you can also get it by the person doing as if he bent a little bit. So the point that folded is where your half length is. Then the next pair to take is the hip length from the waist to hip for you to determine the hip line. So here I have nine inches from the waist to determine the hip line. So I take from the waist down 
to wear the back so just take it like this you see the highest part by the button side where you get your hip line so the next thing to consider is the length of the dress you are making so that depends on the customer's desire because everybody maybe some people need it longer shorter so you just the, take the measurement according to their wants so the next thing now we will do is to take the step two which is a skirt measurement so here you ask your client where you he normally wants the skirt the skirt uh, waist to sit some people like it after the navel or on top it or some people like it under so you just ask the person where he normally likes the navel to sit so where you normally like, want the waist to sit sorry so if is here or if is at the navel point then you take it there that is where you will measure the waist so you take the waist measurement where he wants it to be then there you take you determine your waist sorry your hip line so from where you measure the waist of your skirt is where you will take your hip line so you can see this one i have eight here so there i will measure my waist sorry my hip again so there i'll take my hip measurements again so there we consider the length so from that same point where you measure the waist you take your length from there either short or long or three quarter any one of your choice so the third one is to take the measurement that is needed when we are sewing a princess bust there the first we need is the shoulder measurement then the second one we'll consider is from shoulder to nipple that is breast point from shoulder to nipple measurement you take it down then you measure the under bust from shoulder to the under bust make sure that this is like this you take your under bust measurement so from for example i have my my shoulder to nipple of this to be 10 then the under bust is 13 so i can just easily minus 13 minus 10 i have three so i i will take up three again one two three so here now for this i have my upper bust to be seven then i have my shoulder to upper bust seven from shoulder to nipple i have 10 then from shoulder to under bust i have 13. the next again to consider is your waist line so some clothes when you see some people you see that when they sew like peplum top you see that some people start their peplum their half length here some starts at the naval place which is not on that's very beautiful when you see but when it starts immediately after the under bust you can see that this place is more tinier than here so when the half length starts here just like one or one and a half or two inches after the under bust so that when you now attach your peplum the, the here the upper parts of your stomach will help it to push it and make it to stand well but when it starts here 
it, I, for me i don't like it but i don't know for you but i think it's more prettier when it starts from somewhere here just like two inches after the under bust so there you consider that measurement as well so you take your half length measurement the next to take if is an able blouse you're taking take the waist hip or the waist measure sorry or the blouse blouse hip or the blouse measurement so you take you consider where the person wants the blouse to be so at times it's normally 24 inches so that's when the tie wrapper it will close so it's normally just after the just after our to sit at under your tummy so you just consider that one according to the customer's desire i think that will be all so as you can see it's very very simple to take your body's measurements so thank you for watching till the end till we meet in my next class i love you all bye